Tread Tread carefully, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You and I have been doing some discover self discovery work. We sure have. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Would you like yep. to discuss that? Because I'm finding here in the Philippines and in America too that that people that haven't gone through that process of, of looking at their emotional wounding and things like that, um, it drastically affects the quality of their life and their relationship. Now, what, how much do you want to say? Yeah, well, I've, yeah, I've been going on this, what do you call it, emotional journey, trying to find myself. What's my calling? What am I supposed to do? What's the purpose of my life? What, what's my goals? What am I trying to do here? What am I doing here? Why am I here? <laughs> um, what I want to do next for myself. And since I've met Charles um, and we've, you know, we've sort of, uh, you know, talked and, and I, and I, you know, told him what's going on with me and he's been great. He's been giving this wonderful advice. I really, my eyes have really opened up and start seeing, yes, yeah, just start seeing, you know, why I'm feeling like this, um, how to, do, maybe uh, trying to figure out how to deal with, with what I'm feeling, what I'm going through. Yes. The journey. I don't know what else to say. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you glossed over it. What have you found? What have I found? You want me to start this off? Yes, please. All right. All right. During my journey, all right, I discovered the emotional, what we call the fractured personality from uh, my relationship, my lack of a relationship with my mother because of her death at the age of four i lacked the emotional validation that i would get from a mother and it also means i didn't know how to recognize the pattern of love it's a feeling that we get from our parents and we pat we follow that pattern if you do not have that pattern, in my experience, it's like you're looking for a needle in a haystack and don't know what a needle looks like. Yeah. Messed up. It's messed up. It really is. Yeah. Um. Like I'm at the I'm at the stage where I am trying to figure out why am I like this? What you know? I'm trying to go back to all the events that happened in my past. Why am mm -hmm. I feeling insecure? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Why am I feeling less, why am I feeling not confident or why do I have, um, um, why do I not really believe in myself I can do what I want to do and, and do goals that I want to reach, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm at this stage where I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to dig up, why am I like this, you know, that's you where I'm at know. at the moment. You already know. I mean, do I pinpoint it on a certain event that had happened to happen to me in the past, or I, my upbringing? You glossed know. over it. So this is one of the things that the God principles, the channel, we cover things such as red flags, things that have happened to people that may make them emotionally unavailable. They may suffer from traumatic stress from things. And in my experience, what I'm seeing is that because, you know, my interest is was trying to sort through this and find a emotionally available Filipina, I'm running into a lot of this brokenness instead. It's 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 so far, um, I met a woman, she's a yaya. Her first husband was a drug addict. She has six children. 
And the last one she had, uh, she had it from an expat two years ago. And when he tried to, you know, when you have a baby here, you have to register the parents. He didn't have the proper identification to sign and indicate he was the father. Oh, my. Oh, he got, oh, really now? Oh, my. So you, you told me some things, but I can't bring that out. This is, you want to bring that out? You have to do that. Mm-hmm. Told you many things, I know. Huh? Uh, yes, I've told you many things, I know. Um, this is in the interest of not only helping others, it helps you. Yes. The more you talk about these things, the more you heal. It's Correct. not optional. I'm sorry. Correct. When I Paul's first doing... started talking to this, I used to talk in tears when I first started. Yeah. It was it was so it was but on the one hand, um I was talking about some emotional pain, but I was also talking about some emotional joy because I found a solution to something that I had had. I always wondered what impact the death of my mom had on my life. Yep, I think I lost you there, Charles. <clears throat> okay. I, I always wondered what the impact was of my mother's death on my life from four. I always felt something was wrong. All right. I've even gone through therapy and they said, yeah, you are impacted. But the therapist said, all we can do is teach you to live with it. Oh. I, I said, okay. I don't just live with it, just not. Yeah, okay, right. So go ahead. So just to live with it and not to properly properly deal with it, I would say. Not to properly. They don't know how. Yeah, right. Oh, my. They don't know how. So you talk, you're talking to people who are school trained therapists. Okay. Yeah. The only people that could help you is someone that has been through that situation and somebody helped them through it. But the pattern is, is somebody that had found a way out of that situation. That's why I know so much because I can look at you and say, yep, I can see it. Mm-hmm. That's why I said, what's the relationship with your father? Remember, I, I, zeroed, I zeroed in on that. Like, <laughs> because I, so what's the relationship with your father? Okay, for those who are wondering. <laughs> if you don't want to talk about it, don't. No, I'm fine. To a certain degree, maybe. See, I'm just seeing how I'm. How this plays out. Anyways, so those who's wondering, is she really 100% Filipina? <laughs> I am. I am. I. <sighs> okay, so my mom had me really young. Um, really young. 16. Um, you know, dated this policeman, Filipino policeman. And, and obviously, you know, she fell pregnant. Um, was it, what was I going with this? Yes, so my biological father is Filipino, 100%. Um, unfortunately, once mum had me, uh, he wasn't around at all much. Mm, you know, as yeah, he wasn't around. He kind of, it was just mum bring me, it was just mum, really. Okay. Yeah. Mum tells me that, um, you know, we did see him a couple of times. Go just, ahead. This one story, this one story that Mum told me that we had gone over there to see um, my biological father, uh-huh. and apparently he didn't want to see me that day at all. Say that again. 
so we had gone over to visit um, my biological father and apparently he didn't really want to see me. He didn't want to see me. Whoa. I think he just wanted to sleep, I think. Yeah, he didn't want to see me. He wasn't interested to see me. Okay. How did that make you feel? Um, upset, thinking why? You know, I was only, I was only like probably oh, yeah. one year old, two year old. I, I, obviously, I don't remember it. You know, mum had told me all this. How old were you? Um, probably was two years old, maybe one, two years old. What was my last text to you? Right about it. Before that. Oh, <laughs> I turned off my phone. I have the worst short. I have, my memory is terrible. You know, being 40, <laughs> my memory's not getting any better <laughs> at all. <laughs> Three or four years old. Oh. Would you turn your phone back on? <laughs> yes, I remember now. <laughs> I can recall that. I said, no, I was 15. <laughs> that was when but, you rebelled. Uh, yes, I did. But I said. <laughs> yes, three or four years old. Wow. You see, I've... Telling the story about this, about uh, my biological father and the fact that he didn't want to see me that day. I've never really dealt with that, really. I didn't, I never really, because when my mum told me, I'm like, oh, really? Oh, why? You know, I'm thinking, why? Why does he not want to see me? You know, but that, yeah, really looking back on it and talking about it now has really, I think has really, yeah, it upsets me. It makes me sad. Your own father doesn't want to see you. Anyway, yes. Okay, how do you... All right. <laughs> yes. We'll move on. I don't want to okay. push that. I don't want to put... No, we don't have to push that. It's just really important that I want people to understand that watch this. Mm -hmm. Get more out of it than just living in the Philippines. Correct. You see what Correct. I'm saying? I'm saying because your your situation is not unique. Okay. All right. And so what you have to do, like the solution is, the solution is. Mm -hmm. are you, are you, sorry, was that a question to me? Sorry. Yeah. Oh. The, what, what, what solution would you, what would you do? To overcome these, these emotional feelings and everything? Is that what yeah. you mean? I don't know. Seek help, seek therapy, you know? Um, yeah. What do you think this is? It is therapy, of course. I mean, I, I, I just want to, yeah, William dropped off, cool. Uh, um, I would just want you, to, first of all, you got to look at it and in the Buddhist tradition, they call this karma. See, see, in the Buddhist tradition, we, we say karma is whatever you planted in your life. Currently, you're going to read that. That is true. Okay. Mm -hmm. However, we're talking about spirituality. Mm -hmm. In the Buddhist tradition, the karma is things planted in you that you don't know are there. And you will live right. that out. Interesting. Wow. Mm -hmm. well, karma now you to see me. why I got that? You see why I got them Buddhas over there, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like okay, you know. And then the solution, though, mm -hmm. the, you know, there there are solutions, and I'll I'll give you some suggestions later. I could do it now, but I don't want to do it on the video. Um, how I got over this. You see okay. what I'm saying? Part of this, I couldn't do this by myself. You know, I've tried church. I've tried therapy. I've tried drugs. I've tried suicide. I've tried a lot of different ways until I come into a solution. And we have been talking 45 minutes. 
And there are actually three people watching us right now. Whoever you oh, all great. are. Hello, you know, everyone. Hope, Thanks for joining I, us. I hopefully, you know, you're getting a lot out of this conversation. It's raw and, and it's real. I see Jet Power 1960. He's still there. Thank you. We turned off William and he dropped off yeah, because once I muted him, it was something on his end he was doing. We don't know what it is. Mm. Um, Getting feedback here. Yeah, echoing. Um, Jet, are you getting anything out of this conversation? We'd like to know. Because mm-hmm. this is Filipino After Dark. Yes. And what I want to do is, <clears throat> I know a lot of men come over here wanting to be with a beautiful Filipina, and they are. They are. But, but you I agree have with to, that. You have to know how to navigate these issues, and some of them are too broken and if you listen to what she just said because i was shocked that you said that michelle i'm not kidding you i'm not kidding you that you said that you knew some men australian men that married filipinas took them back to australia yes and And children repeat that story one more time i'm uh, it takes my breath away. I say that's that is cold. Yeah, that is cold blooded to do that. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so um, yeah. So my my stepdad, uh, who's Australian man, um, you know, his mates also married a Filipina. Obviously, had gone over to the Philippines, travelled around, met these beautiful Filipino women, young, gorgeous, um, and then they, you know, obviously went to the next stage and married them and had brought them back over to Australia. Um, you know, uh, they had children, and these men, um, for I know, is um, you know, they got, you know, they. they provided for them, for the family, for her and the family, you know, worked and had their own businesses. Um, you know, they had children together. And um, at the end, uh, the Filipino wife's just gone and, and just decided to leave them, to divorce him. So did you Take- ever see the Filipino wives again? See what their lives were like? No, not never seen them, but I just heard stories uh, like they remarried again, stuff like that. Come no, on I with it, seen. spill it, spill it. They I didn't hear it. much. Yeah, I just didn't really hear. All I knew that you know they'd gone off and you know maybe met other other men or had remarried or trying to trying to take more money out of them. Yes. Out of them, who? Men trying to take more money at, at, at other men they've they, met. They found they were looking for other victims. Maybe, yeah. Wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. What do you think that comes from? Oh, no, it's awful. I, I really don't know why. Why do they do that? I don't know. Is it maybe because, unfortunately, because the way they have lived here in the Philippines? The, up, the upbringing, you know, having not much around them when they're growing up. And then, you know, they finally got this opportunity to live in a westernized world. You know, there was, uh, it's all modern and there's, um, you know, they married a, um, a wealthy man and couldn't get everything oh, they were given wealthy to wealthy too? Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. They... Wow. Well, not rich, you know. Um, Developed, there were you know builders, developers, um, uh-huh. you know, had those small businesses, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Hmm. So, hmm. so where are you at now with all this? Where am I? Where am I at with all this? I don't know why they, yeah, it's really talk, really talking about this. I really don't know why. Why do they do that? Well, no, we we can leave them alone. That's that's morals and values. Okay. That's morals, values, from what I've been able to learn. That that could even be a resent. That could be a resentment, and they could be taking it out on men. 
because mm. they were broken from their father. That's how deep mm. that runs. Wow. Right. Oh. And then there are some other things that talked about self-worth, self-hate. It's a whole lot going on there, Michelle. There's a whole lot. I, I've, I've, why would a person smoke cigarettes? Um, when I know it's bad. Yeah. yeah. It's right there on the set. It says this. Oh, you dropped it. Yeah. I understand. You cannot yeah. say, you cannot say like that yeah. you are emotionally and mentally healthy doing that. That doesn't make, make sense. <laughs> no. Right. So, Michelle, we have 52 minutes. Is there anything you want to tell people before we end this, com in, at least end the live stream? We'll stay online a until it finished unloading. Anything you want to tell people? Look, I just want to say, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, this is not a lie. It, this, is, this is the truth. Unfortunately, this is the truth about these Filipino women, unfortunately. Um, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to build a bad, I don't want to, um, what do you call it? Um, I can't think, I can't think, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want men think, you know, oh my gosh, that's awful, you know, um, are these Filipino women are the same like that over there in the Philippines? Uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This 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 is not unique to the Philippines. Mm, mm, mm. All right. It's just that but they're not all like that, right? They're not all like that. No. I don't want to say they're all like that. No, mm. they're not all like that. Some of them recognize that they shouldn't um, victimize men, mm -mm. and they don't. Mm. Um, but so far, um, I've been taken twice and I wasn't, it was this, this was just being who I am, you know, helping people, yeah. that kind of stuff. And I've had to stop doing that. Been taken advantage of. Yeah. You know, lend somebody some money and it's like, well, you're not getting that back. Money. Yeah. Oh yeah. Talking about money. Talking about giving me money. Yeah. All right. Why? Is that, where does that come from? Let me tell you a story. So Come on. good, good, good. <laughs> got you, got you. <laughs> you got me, Charles. <laughs> nah, all good. Okay, so um, a few years back, well, a year before COVID hit, um, I found my biological father, right? Um, and decided to go over to the Philippines. Um, that would have been my first time ever turning back to the Philippines, by the way, after all the years living in Australia. Anyway, I converted. Um, so I met my biological father. I met my half-brothers and sisters. Um, so then um, when I returned back, when I, you know, returned to Australia, you know, obviously we kept chatting on Messenger. Um, uh -huh. This is when... This is when they just kept asking for money. Like, they just, they just, they just, like, give me, um, you know, Arte, Arte, uh, sister, sister, can you give me some money for my farm? Or can you give me some money to, so I can buy a sack of rice? Or can you give me some money, um, you know, my child's sick? Or, you know, I was happy to help my, fa my biological father. Um, but, you know, Having them asking me money all the time, I mean, did they really want to know their, their half-sister? Did my biological father really want to know me? Yeah, money. Money that you give, but you'll never, you'll never, you'll never um, see it again. And what did we discover? What did we discover about you? Hmm. What did we discover about me? Last night when you took that psych test. Well, I'm the explorer. Yes. <laughs> the caregiver. Yes. Oh, what was the last one? Oh my God. Why can't I not remember? I saved it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, much my memory. It's awful. The uh, la- it was the last two. It was a combination of the caregiver and uh, I forget definitely. Hold on. Hold on. Where's my email? I'll turn my phone off. So I'm going to have to open up my window. That's okay. Don't worry. I can bring it up. I saved it. Did I write it down in my notebook? You should have said, I will. Uh, here you go. Mm. All right. Wrong one. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's see. The innocent. Ah, that's it. How can I forget that? Of course. Yeah, that's 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 rare. I don't see that too often. Um, okay. The innocent means you're naive, mm. and because you haven't experience this but when combined with the caregiver it becomes people pleasing people pleasing um, absolutely i 100 percent so yep now that you know that you can okay, stop yeah. doing that. <laughs> yes you can stop doing that now now that you know um Everybody's not nice. We 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 had to learn that because you don't have healthy boundaries. Because look at where it came from. It came from men. Your father. Who else hit you for money? Uh, yeah, it's just my half brother, really. And who else? Time. Um, your father, your half brother, who else? Just mainly those two, really. And they are men. Right. Do you see the pattern there? I think so. If we're people, why do we people please? I don't, well, <laughs> well, for me, I don't want to upset anyone. I want to, I don't want to rock the boat, you know? I don't want to cause conflict. I want to help people. Um, yeah, I don't want to upset them. But... You're upset now. Trying to look at this. Eh, I wouldn't say upset. Just, yeah, it's, I, I don't know how I feel at the moment, actually. Well, we people please because we want to be loved. Mm. And without that healthy, that healthy pattern. Yeah. All right. We, we have a hard time identifying healthy love and being taken advantage of. It's because our yeah. belief systems, our belief systems tell us we're supposed to be nice. We're supposed to help people and uh-huh. all that BS. Michelle, it's been nice. We're at, we're at a whole hour and I got to eat. Wow. I've got to, yeah. Well, hold on. I want to thank everybody that uh, tuned in. Um, Pass this along. We're going to, I'm gonna chop this up into uh, meaningful segments. I hope to see everybody again. Michelle, stay on the line, please. Okay. Into Thank you, Charles, for having me. No, nope. being great. Thanks for everyone who.